this as Aim will continue to push out. Bottom lane, going yes. in on Phobos. He doesn't have the diver. They've got Soul Catcher as well. Snake are going to move in. They're going to need a few punches to bring him low. They're getting him low. The Fright Clicks as well from the Illusion, helping out for the Demon. He pops us out. There's not going to be enough. Snake goes in. We'll find first blood there onto the Phoenix. Did he actually just stop to click self on himself? Oh, Lil, he wants a bit of return action, looking for Suneko, and he should be able to find this one. Suneko trying to juke it out, won't be enough, and VP do find the return kill there. Looking yeah. for something? Going towards the mid lane, he has got the Wyvern coming as one, and he's incredibly low. They're going to set this one up with a Nightmare. G moving forward, he's got level two, raising, but the Fisher coming back, holding G back. Then he's still alive, he face shifts all out, and now trying to turn this one around. Suneko getting G low, but Lil is, of course, there with the embrace, keeps G up. G will find the final raise onto Dendi on the sidelines, and it is VP coming out on top of that mid lane engagement. As well, seeing if they could find a fight. Top lane is going to be the burrow strike on Dilliton, but oh, Funnick's going to be careful. The Nightmare coming out, and they might try and turn this. It's only level, what, level two Funnick, and he's going to get blown up straight away by the Who Storm double edge combination. Dendi coming in with a rotation, so he wants to try and find a return kill, but being held back there, he won't be able to follow through the orb. And they're going to send Dendi up here as well. They'll set this one up here with the destruction. Caught down Fisher, everything coming nice. down. And Dilliton, the, oh, the Stampede is not going to save him. That's bottom lane. So Nako's there on his own, and now with the Nightmare, he's going to be in a bit of trouble. He needs some help if he's going to wish to stay alive, and well, nothing's going to come. They're just going to let Suneko go there. Quick timing for him as well, but a voice? Well, maybe not if a voice can chase this one down. Now, G's got a haste read. He's fine. we will be able to get himself out. I guess he baited out the Rocket Barrage. Oh, but I mean, that was just him looking for something. He had a high ground ward inside of the jungle, so maybe he was looking to see if he could line up a Razor too. He might have been able to kill Havost if he had been on point, and... The rest of EP coming in. Smoking up. They're going to stampede for us. Straight away, the Fiend's grip onto Suneko. If they find it, they'll certainly find the Earthshaker kill. kill. The question is, can they get anything else here? Much less likely that Navi are going to be able to take a team fight in general, even with the use of the blink, unless Funnix Epi is so good that he just kills like two or three heroes in the back. VP, they want to make the most of this Aegis. They want to start to get the push on a heart star. And they can lead in with this one. Disruption. And now Snakeo throwing out the fish. not going to catch anyone. As it walks past it. Now with the stampede, there's going to be the Fiend script onto a Vosh. They want to bring down this Jaro, but oh, the next one's going to catch him. And Funnick catching out the epicenter onto Lil and G. No one falling out on the side of Navi. Now the caught out from a Vosh will catch loads of them as in the middle of it. They lose Dendi here on the puck. And Phobos going forward. He does have that supernova. The Fisher will hold him back for the time being. But the burn damage bringing out something incredibly low. He might die to this. He will do indeed. This is a fantastic fight for VP, finding two and losing nothing, and they should be able to get the tier one off the back of this as well. Drop like rocks in terms of efficiency against BKBs. A lot of creeps here, Snakeo, he has got that extra time, he's going to blink forward, find the Fisher, and now with a follow-up burrow strike from Funnick, they might be able to find Lil, no, the defensive nightmare's going to bind them some time, and now, it's only around onto a force here with a curse, with a Fiend script as well, Jaro's getting low, he'll go down there to the Splinter Blast, and his two heroes falling on the side of they are able to take down the egg, now Dendi trying to turn this one around with the Dream Call, Funnick with a burrow strike, will get cleared up by Illidan with a hoof stop, FNG trying to do what he can, will stay alive here, Arstar's going to get nightmare up, Illidan moving forward, they're going to look to take down the Shadow Demon here as well, and they will find that kill. There's a double kill for FNG. Four heroes down on Na'Vi. And VP, again, they only lose two. Everyone dying bar the puck on Na'Vi. What a fight there. All the TP's coming back now. Na'Vi gonna smoke up straight away, but he's gonna be dispelled by FNG here with his Flimmer Cape, trying to get out his Fiend's Crypt. Won't be there. Arstol's got the disruption to break it up, and now going in, they might be able to find the FNG there. Will they find FNG here on the bait? And now Danny Bigfoot, there's your Echo Snap for Suneko. Three heroes dropping. It's a double kill for Funnick. Try clear against the Hoostom and the double edge onto the force. They'll bring down Art Style as well. They do find two in return. So Nako is able to get himself out. Dendi and Funny, but not Funny with the epic enter onto Phobos. Fisher from Sineko. Dendi goes in with the waiting rift. It's only in the left alive. He tries to stampede out, but they're controlling him here. Funny should have a burst strike in a minute. The double edge bringing it into low. He finds himself a kill, but he's going to pay with his life. It's a team wide. And VP hit the decks, and Navi turn up to the fight in full force. Tom Lane, a boss, and Seneca moving in. If they can get the stun onto G before he gets that BKB out, they could go for a kill here. G coming out. They will find the fish now going in with the rocket barrage. The Enchanter, and they control G. They bring him down. It's going to hurt VP so much. FNG moving out, but there's going to be the wraparound from Na'Vi. Moving towards the mid lane. Now I'll start throwing down this mod place. He'll pop down the sentry as well. They've got the vision, but it looks like FNG will be able to get himself out. Another disruption holding him in place as well. They're going to need a plus one if they want to take him down. Here's Seneca with the fish onto FNG. And then pop this stampede. And now Funny trying to move with the burst trap. Will pick himself back out, realizing that's not the initiation they need. Winter's cut onto a Vorse. Arstel starts hit away at him. A Vorse getting low, but they're going to have to use their arms to the center, holding him back away from Vorse. A Vorse is going to live, trying to get himself out of this one. And looks like Navi won't lose anything. And Fish being thrown out. Oh, Illidan going forward. He wants to make a funny now with the MPZ onto Lil. And that Dendi to go forward to join him as well. Waiting rift onto Lil. He's got the Glimmer Cape. It's not going to be enough. Dendi takes down the Winter Wyvern. Illidan will try to be out, but no. The disruption's there to cancel it. Funny with the forest strike onto FNG. Rocket Barrage from a Vorse brings it down. And now Illidan trying to get 
himself out. Your step throws the suit onto the Phoenix, controlling him. Double kill for Teddy. They should be able to fight forward today. Try Echo Slam. Now they'll get the supernova out, but they'll just focus it. Right click it. Power strike onto G. Stopping the Requiem. He'll now pop the BKB. Look for the Requiem, but he's lost his entire team. He's the last one alive. And now the question is, can Navi go black, uh, back in? They've got a bling. They're going to have the power strike. G. Oh, he's going to find the kill on some funny. They're funny going in a little bit too early as the magic immunity was still there, but. Well, why was going to TP in? Winters goes on to Denny, trying to set something up, but Seneco's there with a the backup. Denny's just going to be able to orb out, and nothing going to be achieved there by that wife. They're going to pop the stab okay. because, well, they really want to look to fight, but Snake has already TP'd out from the tree line. And Vorst and Denny, they're just running away. And Yeah, his farm has actually gotten completely out of control. Funny, he's got an epicenter he wants to use. He's jumping in on Tilden with a burrow strike. The Fisher from Snake aren't even placed now with the sandstorm. Now Snake comes in with the echo sound. They should be able to fight it. No, Illidan turns, gives the hoot up out. Now the supernova, the mech from G, keeping him alive. They find the kill onto Seneco, and they do manage to keep Illidan alive. Very nice play there from VP, reacting. So it's going to be up in 20 seconds, and Funny just continuing to push. FNG is looking for that Fiend's grip there, trying to find a Vorse. He's just going to nightmare up art style. Seneco has got the Echo Slam, he has got the Echo Slam. Illidan's going to go forward, we'll get yours straight away now. Denny coming in with a Rainy Rip, but the Stampede now, they're going to turn it. They take down art style, Havorce has popped the BKB, but he can't fight into this. There'll be the Fisher coming out. But still, Na'Vi not quite ready to jump into this one. Other than that, it's just like, yeah, we should probably wait it out. Let our Gyrocopter get a little bit more farmed. Havos is working his way probably towards his first damage item now. He went for the BKB SNY, so he's sufficiently tanky at this point. He just needs to start hitting hard, so when he gets the flag off, yeah, FNG here we go. setting something up also. Fonic, Soneka has got the fish catching both G and FNG out. Soneka gets himself out. Funny might not be as lucky. Ah, oh, the Witness Curse comes through. They want him dead, and they're going to get it there. Funny now down for a good minute. I wouldn't be surprised the Centaur getting a little bit more love, at least after Ooh, these finals. Oh, well, Illidan, he wants to fight a horse. He's got a TP backup coming in the form of the wife, and there's going to be more as well. But now, Denny with the Dream Call, they want to try to turn this, but uh, Illidan, the Embrace is going to be there. Illidan's going to be one. Now your Echo Sam coming through. Firebolt gets taken down. Waiting Red Sox, Illidan can't do anything. He's going to get taken down as well. It's an unstoppable kill streak for Denny. Her phone's popping the BKB there. He's the Illidan won't be able to find the double edge. He's been glimmer caped up as well. Trying to find the control onto Dendi, but Dendi's going to be fine. Snake still waiting in the sidelines. Illidan trying to chase down the Dendi kill. It's going to be the nightmare from FNG setting this up. And now Snake with oh. the Fisher and now taking the nightmare off Dendi, allowing Dendi to get himself out of this one. Dendi will be able to TP home. Snake will be the sacrificial lamb there, but Snake with the plays, allowing Dendi to live. They're ready to wait a little bit longer before they look to jump in a Vorse. Oh, they're yeah, a bit deep here, mate. He wins his curse, and now the TP's coming in. A Vorse, he's got nowhere to run. He really wanted that tower. He's not going to get it there. Little with the deny, and a Vorse, I mean, that was classic, a Vorse. And we'll be able to escape it. Now, the inherent weakness of Navi's lineup is their single target damage up, but that's the one thing they're going to be suffering from the most. They picked a hell of a lot of AoE, though. So if they can find the combos, I think they'll be able to sufficiently take fights, but time and time again, VP have shown that they will adapt. Like, they will be able to take team fights in the, in the proper method. And we're going to see a little bit of rotation here again from Navi. Bill. And Illidan in the tree line here. Forced on the front lines for the side. Navi and all getting forced. Forced. Snake has been able to fight Fisher. Now with the burst right full over the cold embrace for Lil's going to be there. And now the Winter's Curse on the Force. He did manage to get off the BKB. The Fuse Grip gets cancelled straight away. And it's a question whether Navi can stick around in this fight. They're starting to back off because G with BKB doing so much damage. There's going to be the disruption there. Holding back Art Star. Well, himself as well. FG is getting low because Funix trying to for the burst strike. Will now find it. They'll find the Bane. And the fight continues. G getting low. Now Sudeiko with the Echo Slam. With the Fisher brings down G. It's a two for one. They want more Lil's gonna be able to TP out, got the Glimmer Cave, will escape. And it's a two for one there as Na'Vi are able to successfully defend and they kill the G Shadow Fiend. He has his BKB up. So the only person who can really hit him is a Shadow Fiend. Funnic, yeah, he's dropping low here. I think he will end up dropping. He's got oh, a no, force force a burst strike. He's good. He's got a burst strike. Oh, Snakeo actually coming in saying, well, I'm going to hold these guys back for you. Homie missile onto with it. And we'll pop the stampede. Of course, with that free puff, he's trying to get up to the high ground. But Phoenix there with the burst strike holding him back. And he'll get out. Denny blinking forward. They're trying to find the killer. Waiting with. And then will be Glimmer up now with the cold embrace from Lily. He's going to be okay. He will suffice, but he doesn't find any of the kills there. Na'Vi really just working perfectly as a team to keep each other alive. Right, Roshan is a necessity for VP. They absolutely need it at this point. If for whatever reason Navi are able to take a fight around Roche, I would even say they might just be leading this game. Okay, they've got everything apart from the Echo Slam. Still just about 10 seconds before that one comes back online. Let's see if Navi can contest this one. It's going to be quite a slow Roche until G starts punching. Funny going forward, gets the burst strike onto FNG. This is big if they can control the Bane. Bane won't be able to get any of the Fiend scripts out. Snake going forward. He's got the Echo Slam now. He's still waiting to use it. Holding himself plays with the yours. Where's the Echo Slam? He's going to need to try and get it. No, he's going to get himself out. In fact, now they're going to find the killer to the Shadow Demon. Now Snake is getting the Echo Slam. The Dream Call onto free. FNG falling. Oh my getting God. Off the high ground. And now 
Roshan is left open. This is a very, very tense part of the game, aren't they? Now Phonic is a beast, here comes the Burrow. Oh, he's going to find the Burrow, tracking against himself, four staffed out, dodging the Hoostom from Illidan. The Stampede will be popped, and now the Fiendry Bond to a force, but the disruption from Artstyle is going to break it. A force is going to be able to fight back up in there, which is now Sadeko with the Echo Snapples, FNG, and Lil, and now going in and full force, the corner is going to come down on the wall. They have popped the Supernova here, Dream Calls onto them, and it's actually Na'Vi losing the fight here. They've lost the Aegis onto a force, they've lost Sadeko as well. Phonic's going to drop as well, and it's time for VP to take a positive fight. They're going to almost certainly bring down a force here as well. Four here dropping on the side of Na'Vi and VP proving they've still got the team fight to bring to this game. Your team can give this up for free. Like, I think you actually have to fight this. VP have already showed that they have the potential to go high ground. Even though Na'Vi have tier 2s, they might be able to delay long enough to get the Aegis off of G, but you don't want to give it away for free. I think that is not the play. There are boots of travel available on Seneko. It's going to be coming in now. It's dying pretty fast though. They I need to hurry. He needs to get there quickly. I mean, here we go. Phobos trying to initiate the fight going on to Arsenal. Arsenal's able to force stuff himself forward, but it was almost certainly he's going to still go down. There's going to be the scythe onto Illidan. Then he's going to call out by the Winter's Curse. Will be forced stuff away. Havorst here with the cooldown. Catching on to G and FNG. The question is, can they continue to fight? They've still got the Echo Stammer. They've still got the Epicenter. Here we go. Havorst moving forward. The Epicenter being channeled up. And well, Illidan's going to try and jump on him. But Havorst put the BKB. The damage reduced is just too much. But he's trying to do what he can with the BKB. He's on G and Illidan. There's not a lot that this Sand King can do. Havorst will buy back. Then he's getting caught out here by the... Well, using himself up. Can he get himself out of this one? He can. He's able to blink up to the high ground. And well, Na'Vi are now... A few heroes. Well, they still got Echo. Arsenal, they, they still have Echo. Yeah, it's all about the Echo here. And there it is. On to G. On to Illidan. They don't have BKB here for round two. Can they bring them down? It's Na'Vi. Havorst moving in into the pit. They'll find the kill on Illidan. Will they find G as well? G, he's being embraced up by Lil. He'll lift the timing of Phobos as well. Healing him up. The teamwork there. Keeping him alive. Body getting the pro strike. On to FNG. The pre FNG. Havorst trying to do what he can against G. But G is cleaning up. Double kill. Finally, they'll break down the Shadow Feet. They might lose Funny here. Funny trying to get himself out. He will end up going down as Seneco still going up and Dendi he wants to find Lil Seneco coming forward there with the enchant totem that bring down the white but they might even find Phobos funny rotating round the BKP will be popped by Phobos he wants to find the Dendi kill he's not going to get it Phobos falls as well Dendi gets the kill and VP they all hit the deck the one important thing to remember from this okay and for the next fight Avorst has invested in a completed satanic so they're going to have that as well here on the Jara going to need to do something big here G starting to pummel away at the tier 3. The TP's coming out for Na'Vi. They're ready to defend, but it's, the question is, have they got enough to stop VP at this point? Going for Snake and finds nice the Fisher onto 2, but now a legend going in, it will get caught out by the Burrow Strike. And now with the Winter's Curse onto Snake, are holding him in place. He's going to go down, and he's down for 80 seconds. He does not have buyback. Funny getting caught out as well. The Dream Call's being dropped by Dendi, but now the Fisher Curse of Force will get cancelled straight away with the defensive disruption from Artstyle, but Artstyle's going to go down. Two heroes down on the side of Na'Vi, neither with buyback available. And as a three-man can can Na'Vi hold back the side of VP? They're going to try their best here. Havorce, taking the missile forward onto Illidan. Now, oh, Danny gets the waiting rift onto free. The missile will connect onto Illidan. Funnick trying to desperately push them back here with the rat, attempting to do what he can on the bottom lane. Mid lane, the melee racks will get cleared out. And now the side of VP, they're going to look for the top set as well. And, uh, well, Na'Vi, can they do any? The Dream Call's being popped. They do still have an epicenter. It's going to have to be a big one. But Funnick, he just wants to continue to push on this bottom lane. He wants to find something in return. Yours is going to be thrown down onto Shadow Fiend, but G's standing his ground. And there's still no Funnick, no reaction from Funnick. He's not coming for this one. It looks like they're just going to have to end up sacking a second set of racks here. And Funnick's actually been forced back from the bottom lane by Bane. And yeah, this is going to be a second set of rats going down, or maybe not. A Vorst here with a cooldown wants to try and fight into this one. Dendi moving forward, moving back now with a stampede going onto Vorst. A Vorst will pop the BKB. They won't catch him out here with the Hoostom. G continues to fight. A Vorst is trying to do what he can, but now Illidan going in and going ham. Catching out A Vorst. There's going to be the defensive disruption buying A Vorst sometime. He will be able to get himself out. Dendi with a waiting rift now with a supernova coming out from Phobos. Dendi needs to get himself out of here, and he will do. will be able to find the blink. The supernova goes off, and now Funnick and Seneco, they're going in. They've got the Echo Snap on to two, and now they've brought down the shadow feet, but he's got the ages. He's going to be there for round two. Illidan trying to find himself the Hoostom. Now G coming in. He's trying to do what he can with the way he rift onto G. Now the punch is bringing Denny low. They'll find the kill onto Denny. He does have buyback. Funny with the burst strike onto Lil at G, but now G punching away at Vos. Brings him down and Vos is down for 95 seconds. Denny holding shadow feet back in with the yours. They will bring down Lil. They need to find the skill onto G. They're doing what they can. Burst strike onto Shadow Fiend. Denny with the size now. Can they kill the SM? The heal, the heal from Phobos. Will it be enough? No. G, he might drop down the punches. He does go down. Seneco will live. And Na'Vi do defend the base. But Na'Vi pretty much you're going to have to hit everything perfectly. 
to bring down these here. I'm just so damn tanky on the side of BP. Well, don't underestimate the power of a late game gyrocopter. He is going back in for that Chrysalis. Not going to go well on the rapier, but he does Oh, it and he wants to go in now here with the Stampede, the Hoofstorm. BKBs are being plugged up with the defensive disruption by sometimes Seneca. Supernova coming out for the side of VP. Of all spots, BKB trying to go up against Dillardin. No one dying as of yet. The side of Navi getting low now with the Supernova Stone catching out of Force. A Force getting low, gets himself Force Star back, but Illidan here with the Storm will fight too. Double kill for your central warrior. Her Force will bite back. Arstar will not be able to return to his fray. Denny coming forward with the waiting rift onto Lil and FNG. Now Force trying to do what he can with the flat cannon, but G, he's just got a superior amount of damage and he'll just force the force to back right up. The homing missile will fly forward onto Willisden, will connect now with the Fisher onto FNG and G. A force still trying to do what he can, but G now has been glimmer caped up. Now turn attention to two, the tier three, and now onto the racks as well. Denny, what can he do? Well, he's got to back himself up as the Arctic burn fly through for the Winter Wyvern. G is looking to make a creep to FNG, trying to find a nightmare, but he won't find it. Now Illidan finds the stop to Seneca. Seneca's going to get brought down. He does have buyback. They still have Epstein. They still have Echo Snap, but now they've lost Denny. Denny will buy back for this one. Burrow Strike on two. There's your Echo Snap for Seneca. Go. They'll find the Fisher as well. They break down the Aegis on the Shadow Fiend. Little will drop as well. Can they kill this SF a second time round? G, he's got the BKB in for round two. Illidan will the get damage. that moved up. But look at the right clicks here for G. It's too much. Her force has now died back. They won't even kill Illidan. It's a double kill for G. Make that more triple Good kill. Game.